Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Um, so for some of you that don't know me, uh, I haven't been able to come into the office for some time due to um, personal reasons and I've been working from home pretty much predominantly. Uh, so I've come into the showroom in the office today and I'm working in the showroom. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of just what it looks like and how cool it is. Um, so just to let you know, so here we have a, this is a 45 page a minute graphic arts printer from Zero. It's called a Versalink C8000, which is fitted with a booklet maker. You can just get it as a printer itself. And all of our printers actually come managed. You pay a cost per page that covers all torn up parts, maintenance and service and such like. Uh, so I have a client coming in today to see this uh, beauty. This is a graphic arts printer. It's a really, really high resolution. Uh, can take up to 350 gram and actually has a really cool extra um, high capacity, um, extra thick um, auto duplex uh, which I think takes 300 pages 300 um, grams duplex uh, it's 45 page a minute pretty cool uh, four 520 sheet trays don't want to bore you with too much details well, something I love about the Xerox products it has a thing called a, a conveyor belt booklet maker system so this system this down here it has a conveyor belt so you can actually put a box underneath it. So a lot of manufacturers have booklet makers nowadays but they are limited by capacity as to how many it can take so might do 30 booklets and then be full and you've got to empty it and the machine will stop and say, please empty. Um, so the Xerox range of the, the production, I guess the office, um, there is a basic staple finisher booklet maker option, but this particular one um, the, is, uh, has, and it's kind of universal across the Xerox products. They work on all the, um, this pretty much this part um, so you've got a 2,000 sheet tray top and bottom, and then you've also got this booklet maker option down below, which folds and staples A4 or A3 documents. So it's really cool if you've got a document which is um, of any size, A4 or A3. You don't need to design an A3. You can put a design something in A4 pages, and it's 16 pages, 32 pages, obviously divisible by four makes sense. Um, so you can actually just file and print, and it will actually booklet it across and fold it and staple it um, and you can choose different covers you might have stiff glossy stock on the outside like 300 gram stock on the outside and then you might only want 60 gram in the middle which can give you a really glossy kind of lovely finish i know people don't print a lot nowadays um, but there it is it's um yeah it's pretty cool i think it's um yeah i think you know people do these things if you're outsourcing it things need to be everything's obviously getting a lot more expensive so you can bring these things in house and get these machines kind of relatively cheaply i guess from about 100 pounds a month something of that nature and with a full cost per print agreement to cover um this one over here is actually a reconditioned product a 30 page a minute it's been remanufactured which is amazing um so it's probably been out in the field for maybe three or four years um and we would take away all the panels and respray them respray them and um so they come out like new they come out with zero prints on the clock um and guarantees for five years as new so pretty cool um and yeah they're just guaranteed as if they're brand spanking new for five years this one here has just got the so if you imagine that one without the booklet maker that's exactly it. it's just four 520 sheet trays uh, that internal section here is actually really cool. If somebody wants to staple in a basic way, single staple in the top left-hand corner, it'll produce a staple and clay kind of set, so it separates them up. It's a bit, I know stapling and all that stuff is a little bit... I guess everybody says printing's old school, but it's quite nice to have a good, reliable, single product as we return to the office, and the reconditioned way forward is... is reconditioned is certainly the way forward for a lot of people, which are just people are just trying to have the convenience of having someone local, but without affecting the cost. Um, everything's got so much more expensive nowadays, and everybody's just trying to reduce it where possible. So um, this over here um, is an eco box. Um, so Xerox free collection and recycling product. So you, we have a portal, so you just basically key in your details. And there's a contracted thing with, um, it's a contracted thing with, um, uh, I think it's UPS or yeah, I think it's UPS that actually deliver deliver the empty boxes for Xerox, and this is just an example. It's obviously an empty box. However, you get a pack of these boxes come into your office, and um, you order them online, and you order collections online, and they come and take away your cartridges free of charge, which is super um, environmentally. Conscious, obviously, everybody's in on, on about that nowadays. This is a 8145, so it's a 45 page a minute device. This one's slightly different. These other two, if you notice, had two, four, 520 sheet trays. This one has actually got a 2000 sheet deck down below, which is purely for A4 pages, which is pretty nice. And uh, so, one more takes 1133. It's one of those technical details, that are boring details that I have to know. 1133 pages, and another one takes 867 pages. 
Uh, the other two are universal trays, so you can adjust the adjust the widths and depths of the pages uh, of the paper that goes in them, and the machine will automatically recognise um, what's in them. There's a take 520 sheets. The Xerox are really cool. They take up to 300 grams in the drawers, which is really smart. I think uh, you always want flexibility on kind of stocks you put through, and it's really good on glossy. Print colours are quite they're great. They're, Renowned for being very, very vibrant. The reds are very red. They're very bright coloured print, which is nice. Um, the, all of these devices have the uh, 100 g step bypass. This one over here. This one over here. And this one over here. This one takes SRA3. Actually, the printer model actually takes SRA3 and does banner pages as well. So you can actually put long sheets in it, like literally, I think, I can't remember, it's virtually a meter wide, and it will take it through the device and print. So if you do banners and that kind of thing, and um, you want an efficient way of printing. Um, so this is all the A3 models, really cool. This is me set up to work today, pretty cool. Uh, I've got the showroom here for everybody to come and see. Uh, we keep a whole load of stocks um, for us, so can everything from SRA3 up to 350 gram. Um, down here and some nice silk and colour quoted prints. Customers come in today is a graphic arts kind of customer, so he wants really, really high quality, not necessarily very big volume, um, but very high quality prints for photography. Um, so that's quite an interesting application. Uh, this over here is uh, this is really cool actually. So the print management systems we provide, PaperCut and uh, Xerox Workplace Cloud, which is the most efficient kind of uh, cl cloud-based um, print. print um, serverless print solutions. So if you want to get rid of your print server, somebody's getting rid of servers nowadays. If you want to get rid of them, um, you can actually you can actually um, provide a system which all of your prints go to the cloud and are released um, to the device. And basically how that works is you've got to authenticate yourself on a device with a PIN number or uh, you can, schools actually really like thumbprints, you can use PIN number releases and that kind of thing. Uh, it actually has a section here for card, for card readers. You see there, so you just swipe a card. Um, so this bag over here I was going on to is um, uh, it's a it's a it's a professional services toolkit, effectively, really cool. So it, basically, we go to our clients and we say, okay, we're going to have our switch. So we go back to my clients. I go back to our clients and say, okay, they've got a door entry system. They've got a method of getting into a building and a pass like I've got here on my neck. Um, so I kind of authenticate myself and. I walk up to a vice and swipe a card. Now that's fine, I know what kind of ID card. I think these things are getting more generic nowadays, but you do get a lot of kind of legacy door entry systems. You know, some people press it, use a card to enter into a lift. I mean, this one here, for example, is an actual swipe. Look at that, a magnetic swipe you might see in a, you know, a shop or that kind of thing. Loads and loads of different. But however, just the key thing is that we have to be prepared. So we actually have a toolkit that professional services department use um, to check on, um, to see what kind of, um, to see what kind of um, cards people are using and make sure that whatever card reader we fit and install in the machine, that's where they go. And this one here, uh, one over here. Uh, you also got a USB thing here, so you can actually put a USB stick straight into a device down, print straight from it. Pretty cool. It's PDF, JPEGs, and images, and that kind of thing. So you can actually just save stuff uh, on a memory stick. You don't even need to be connected to the printer. You just stick it in. If it's a PDF, it'll release it and print it, which is really cool for guests and visitors and that kind of thing. People come in totally unprepared. And obviously, we've got a USB in the back of them, which we can enable so people can come in and print. Um, so there's a lot of uh, amazing technologies. Uh, devices themselves, yeah, really smart interfaces, really cool. Um, loads of different tools and applications. And Xerox have a thing called an app gallery, um, which I can show you. Sorry, I'm rambling on a bit here. Called an app gallery, um, which actually lets you, there's the Xerox app gallery on a device. So if you use a third party system, you might use zero accounting and that kind of thing. Probably a bad example on a printer only, but the interface is exactly the same. So this is the app gallery, so we can actually go into it, choose an application, you can scan to Office 365, you can scan to Google, uh, scan to Dropbox, or Box is it called nowadays, and scan to DocuShare Go, which I've done quite a lot of work on the, the on, um, on my channel, um, the Content Hub. So loads of different applications, the new ones coming out all the time. Look at that one, it's Connect for Sage, that's cool, so we can scan straight into your Sage repository, save all the invoices straight off the bat. Um, some people, you know, still paper invoices come in. I was just looking at our mail came in this morning. Um, so there's still quite a bit. 
into the office. Um, over here we have also had a small area um, which we use to send scanners and that kind of thing. So this is a Xerox 4790 scanner, which is an amazing product. It's got a 500 sheet feeder. Interesting thing about scanners is so you can put your sheets in down here and it will just drag them in of, of all sizes. Interesting thing about scanners, if somebody's doing scanning and thinks they can do it on photocopy, it's okay. But if you want to do batch scanning, it's really difficult. Um, the pickup scan, the pickup feed rollers on a scanner themselves. On a photocopy, you have a single roll at the top here. On the scanner, you have multiple pickup points, like 16 pickup points on a document. So it, consequently, it's able to take documents of all sizes and thickness of card, um, you know, anything from receipts and that kind of thing. But critically, you can actually stack up 500 pages. If you want to get rid of your old filing cabinets really quickly and efficiently, you can contact us and you can rent a product in this short term, maybe three months, six months. And you can do it just a little project, get rid of all your paper documents and uh, scan them in. Scans at something like, I think it's 100 um, pages per minute. So it literally, it's an incredible machine. Dung, 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 dung. It just goes and goes. Amazing. Uh, the C400 previous model, there's a new one out so very, very soon. Uh, this, is a, this is a 35 page a minute A4 color laser printer, uh, returned from a client, uh, but we'll just have it here so people can see. And this is a 40 page a minute um, mono laser printer, so you can have anything from, you know, these are just A4 products, so we can do you know, things of all size, and you can rent these short or long term, or you know, just get yourself something managed. So you just pay a cost per page and it covers all the toner parts, maintenance and service. The bigger the device, the lower the cost per page. Um, but generally, if we find them, uh, yeah, pretty reliable. And if you have a fleet, some people might have, you know, three floor buildings. You've got a machine on each floor and then you've also got, you might have um, several of these dotted around in a building. I think there's a lot of, uh, the cost per page is slightly higher, so there's certainly motivation to use the bigger devices. However, these are on a basis that, you know, we can remote into your network and we can communicate with all of these devices remotely and it will order toners and parts and give us meter readings. So you're never involved in anything that you can get on with your work and we just get on with our work. We watch your printers, we watch what they need. Uh, we soon send toners as they arrive and we take meters as we need them. And, um, and so hopefully, you're, you know, you're, you're never really caught short. Um, so, yeah, pretty good. The scanners love scanners, love scanning products. And we can do a lot of those things as well. This is just a USB scanner. Um, we can connect it to a device which, um, which will put it across the scan, across the network and available to everybody. Um, so it will scan into a folder on the network. So if you're scanning invoices and that kind of thing, it will just scan to a single location and auto file them. We also have a lot of information kind of re retrieving um, systems. So... I can scan certain areas with the documents with DocuShare Go, for example, or DocuShare Flex, and it will actually pick up key information of invoice names and, and supplier names and payment types and all kinds of things. Information is automatically stripped and saved into documents. And again, a lot of these things are on the cloud. All the authentication systems I talked about in the AFIL printers um, have um, require, um, I think this one actually had that. I think this one actually had a requires a, so this is the kind of notification you get um, when you turn on a printer. Excuse this little bit of dust there, that's terrible. Um, but yeah, really good laser printers. I think they're yeah, really good, 45 page a minute, mono, 520 sheet tray, black and white and color. So these are the kind of desktop models. I'm just trying to show you this requires a card reader. It's going to come on a minute, it's just a warm up a wee second. All that Energy Star compliance, they go to sleep themselves, they don't use up a lot of power at all. And this is all driven to, if they go to sleep, then it means that saving your electricity and uh, saving the planet, I guess, really cool. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I won't wait for that, but basically it's going to come on and tell me it needs a card reader. It needs to swipe my card to, to access a print. So... All right, so that's about all. So um, I think that's everything for me today. I shall, I'll get back on with my work and, excuse me, I lost you there for a little second. Uh, I'll let you get, I'll get on with my work and let you get on with yours. But if you'd like a demonstration on any of these products or to discuss any of our services, please reach out to me on a message. That's cool. Drop me an email at martin.hargrave at xerox.com and you'd be welcome to come and see this if you're, uh, local to the area okay take care hope you're having a good week and um, happy and keen and keen to discuss anything any requirements you have on any of those areas because that's what I do okay take care have a great day bye